You may have heard the phrase, energy flows where our attention goes. I did some research to try to find who in the heck said this, and a lot of people claim to be the one to have said it. So I'm not going to say who thinks they said it, but I will say this. It's a very useful little phrase when we're thinking about interviewing for a position we're interested in, whether it's looking for a job, whether it's seeking a promotion in our own company, whether it's even representing an idea that we want our seniors to adopt. When we're promoting ourselves in our career, it's really important to have our attention focused on the right things during that presentation moment, whether it is an interview or not. And when we don't have our attention focused in the right place, our energy will dip. And whatever outcome we hope or desire is going to be offset by this negative energy. Even if they like the thing that we're proposing, if we're the ones that are ultimately going to be delivering it, if our energy isn't great in that moment, it's not going to happen for us. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you how to have a very high level of energy during these times where we're presenting ourselves or a concept or an idea that is ultimately going to benefit us in the long run. Hi, my name is Sean Summerkamp and this is Motivation Ear Christian Coaching. I post two videos a week, so please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you can be reminded when I do. Please also consider becoming a member at motivationear.com. Your membership really supports this channel. Thank you. One of my favorite emails that I get from clients is, hey, I'm going for a big interview or, hey, I'm presenting before the board of directors. You know, any quick tips? I, you know, it's funny how often I get this. If you've been watching this channel for any length of time, I say this about a lot of things, how often I get tagged on things, how often I get asked things. Well, this is one of those things I get asked a lot. What can I do, Sean, just very quickly off the top of your head to get ready for a really great presentation? The most important thing is having our attention focused on our five core values. What's true about us? If you've not done the core values assessment by now, and you've not seen any of my other videos on core values assessment, I'll leave a link below. When we have our mind set on the truth of us, we are enacting, in a sense, Romans 12, 2, Philippians 4, 8, and Romans 12, 3. I'm not going to go into that because I've covered it so often in other videos, but it focuses on what's true and energetic about us. When we focus on our strengths, the core of who we are, the value that we bring, it will give us an energy lift during those times where we're presenting. If we don't have an energy lift and our energy is kind of going down, it is because we're focused on the wrong things. So whoever made this quote, energy flows where our attention goes, it's true. Let's focus on us in those moments leading up to the presentation. Because once we get into the material, our minds aren't going to really focus on ourselves a lot, we're going to try to, we, we're going to want to focus on the material, which brings us to tip number two. We want to be very prepared. We've gathered enough knowledge to be well prepared for the information we're about to present. If it's us interviewing, get very familiar with all of your past exploits that you've captured in your resume or on your LinkedIn profile. If it's pitching an idea, get ready with the business knowledge on how the idea brings value to the company numerically. If it's pitching a concept or a difference of operational strategy within the company, understand what gets impacted when this new thing that you want to put into place happens. This is all very important. The knowledge that you bring to that presentation is going to be tested. Maybe they're not going to really try to rake you across the coals, but they're going to ask you some questions to try to flesh out what you're presenting, whether you're presenting yourself or not. So we want to be very knowledgeable about it. Step number three, I know it's weird. I say this to everyone who ever asks, go watch that Amy Cuddy TED Talk video. It's one of the most watched TED Talk videos I have referenced in many times. The reason why I do, because she gives some great solid science behind the fact that our body posture, 
affects our mood. And if leading up to that presentation, we do a couple of the things that she mentions in her video, like pumping our fists in the air and you know holding a pencil between our teeth and a few other things, that will get us ready. But during the presentation, if we sit in a power pose, it's gonna also affect our energy level and give us kind of an energy level boost. Don't take this lightly, it is real science. Go watch that Amy, Amy TED Talk video to understand. And then tip number four, it's the most important one, I saved the most important for last, is pray to find favor in the eyes of whoever you're meeting with, whoever you're presenting to, the audience. This is critical because it puts our faith in God's hands. It means, hey God, I'm committing this presentation to you. Whatever happens is cool. This is Romans 12, two again. Whatever happens is good, pleasing, and perfect. And when we ask God to allow us to find favor in their eyes, it is a little bit of surrender. It's letting go of anxiety. It's letting go of tension or worry, the unknown. It allows us to enjoy the process. And it does really strengthen our faith because we are saying, God, you are in control, not me. We get to enjoy the ride. When we have that mindset that whatever happens is part of God's plan, it makes the journey way more enjoyable. Those are my top four tips on how to get ready to present something with a great energy so that the outcome is ultimately what we hope to achieve. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for two new videos each week. Tell me in the comments below about your career situation and I'll make a video for you with a shout out. You can also become a member at motivationeer.com. Your career is not just a way to make a living, it's a way to transform the world.